you have been such an inspiration to so many women by being your own. Like, what inspired you to be able to do that? Where did you get that confidence from? Oh, just hanging in there and continuing and learning some hard knocks, uh, learning the hard way, but progressing. You know, when you've got an idea and everybody says, oh, wow, that's a good idea, it gives you confidence. Yes. Well, I went into the music business totally ignorant, didn't know a thing about it. And when I'd get an idea and they said, oh, that's a good one, or I'd choose a song that's, oh, that's a good one. Uh -huh. Then it gives you confidence and you can move forward and have more ideas. Yeah. And so when that keeps multiplying, then you have more confidence. Mm -hmm. You show up on time, you're prepared, and everything runs smoothly. And it runs smoothly. Yes. And it's ran smoothly for you for quite some time. Can you please tell us about your campaign with Dove? The campaign with Dove was really special because it was eliminating AI in all mm -hmm. of their commercials. Mm -hmm. They're not going to use it. They're going to have pictures of beautiful women mm -hmm. with what they considered flaws. I didn't consider it any flaws. I yes. thought they were totally beautiful. They were not AI generated. And so it was what you see is what you get. Nice. I love that. Yeah, well, I had, love a, that. I had a uh, video several years ago, and I wrote the concept, and we filmed it in uh, Chalky, Oklahoma, where I grew up. And it's a song called Just Like Them Horses. Ooh. And so when we got finished with the video, the label said, okay, now we're ready for beauty work. And I said, I don't want beauty work. You better tell them. I did, and yes. I stuck with it, and there's all the wrinkles and everything. Wow. And I said, this is uh, me in my hometown on the ranch where I grew up, and I want it to be me. And it's okay to be you. Yeah, it is. I love that that's the message that it sends. Thank you for that. Thank that's you. gonna inspire you so many to know it's okay to be as you are and who you are. Yeah, God gave me this. I'm really tickled with it. Take it for Reba. Yeah. Yeah. She said it. We need to hear more stuff like that today, so thank, thank you. you for that. Thank you. Of course, now, Jennifer, yes. I did have a lot of hair and makeup people helping uh -huh. me <laughs> and, and all my, my clothes and everything, but Rex, my boyfriend, still says I'm kind of okay looking when I don't have my makeup yes. on, so yes. I like Rex. Go, like. Rex. Mm. You hear that? You better send him a shout out. He on the right track. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's right. Listen, this is your second season as a coach on The Voice. Yeah. I know we loving you on this show. Are you having a lot of fun? I am. At first, when I first went on The Voice, I was kind of the new kid on the block, uh -huh. you know, and, and, but then, you know, last season, it was Gwen and John and Niall made me feel at home. Yes. Okay. But it took a while. You know, it's like uh, going to a new school in the sixth grade when everybody's been together since preschool. <laughs> yes. And so I was like, no. Oh. So I got in there and we all became friends. And then this season with Dan and Shay, John and Chance the Rapper, we just had, we've had a blast. It looks There's like so it. Much fun. Oh I my goodness. It. I'm sure you have completely taken over. You've had to. But I have to ask you, who do you feel is your biggest competition out of all the other coaches? Oh, that's hard to say because everybody's got a great team. Mm, okay. And they're all different. Okay. Like on my team, I've got a country star, a country uh -huh. singer, Josh. Uh, Asher is more, oh, soul. And then Elle is, she's so, uh, I don't, boy, they're just different. Yeah. And I don't like categories. Okay. I don't like putting anybody in a corral. They're different styles. I'll put it that way. Mm -hmm. But they're so talented. And their backstories are what are so good. Right. Yeah, They've got story heart and soul. Mm. So do you gravitate more to the story, the style? The talent, or or you rather not say? No, when you got all three of when those. When you have all three. That's when it's really magic, mm -hmm. and that's what my three artists have. Mm. They've got all three. Man, I would love to be a contestant so I could be on your team. <laughs> You're hosting the ACM Awards, and you've hosted 17 times? 17, this is my 17th. Wow, what can we expect this year? Well, it's gonna be in Frisco, Texas, uh -huh. like it was last year when Dolly and Garth hosted it, yes. and they were having so much fun, I said, well, no, wait a minute, I want to do that. Yeah. So they asked me, and I said, absolutely, we'd love to, and it's on Amazon Prime, uh -huh. so it's going to be different we'll than be the times I've it. done it in the past. Yes. You know what, I think they should just go on and name it Reba McIntyre Country Music Awards, don't you think? <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah. Look, oh my God. Yeah. And this is your fashion throughout the years? That is too funny. <laughs> Thank you. 
I mean, your fashion has been slammed throughout the years. What you gonna wear this year, girl? What you gonna wear? Well, we've got some things picked out that are totally different than anything I've ever worn before. I wear a lot of the, what we call Miss America dresses. Ah. And so uh, my stylist came out and she brought this one out and I said, can I hold that? And it went, I said, how heavy is that? It's heavy. She said, probably about 35 pounds. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm trying to lose weight, not gain weight. <laughs> And she said, it's not that heavy once you get it on. I said, you wear it. You wear it? No, Marjan, she was, she's great, and I love her to pieces, and she said, I'll put it back. Oh, my goodness, because sometimes it t requires a special workout just to walk in a dress. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Did you figure out, the, like, how far you got to walk in it? Yes, that's the deal. I'll put a dress on. I'll say, okay, if I'm going to be out there for introducing somebody and then walk back and take it off, mm -hmm. I'll wear it. Mm -hmm. But if I have to stand out there through the whole monologue, mm -hmm. then I've said, no, no, it's got to be my cowboy boots, something really comfortable. Yes. Comfort is the thing, right, girl? You better tell it. Yes. I say it all the time. Comfort. Oh, my goodness. Now, let's talk music. You coming out with some new music. I you? am. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes. Tell us yes. about it going to be a, a new album coming out soon, but we've got a new single that we'll be performing at the ACMs. Oh, wow. Yeah. Reba, you stay busy. You working on a new sitcom? Yes. Uh -huh. Wow. What can you tell us about it? Well, it's called Happy's Place, uh -huh. and we've shot the pilot uh -huh. on NBC, and we're just waiting patiently, wow. sort of, on <laughs> if they're going to take it to series or not. So, oh. fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Please, please. Fingers yeah. crossed, because your original sitcom premiered over 20 years ago. How about that? Reba. Wow, that is amazing. 20 years? Does it feel like 20 years? It seems like a few years sometime and 100 years on the other time. But we had such a wonderful time. We're all still real close, yeah. and it was a great time. And now you can see The Reba Show on Netflix starting May the 6th. Yeah! Oh, my goodness. Listen, so many love that show. This was one of my mama's favorite shows. She oh. used to love watching your show. So oh. thank you for that. Thank you for saying that. And so many love the theme song. Yeah. What is, what is it about the theme? Y'all love the theme song, right? <laughs> what is it about the theme song that you feel people connect with? I think the reason why so many people can connect with the song I'm a Survivor is because it's relatable. Mm -hmm. And I know you find the same thing in the yes, songs you sing. If people can relate to it, they can connect to it. Okay. And I'm a survivor. I mean, women who's working hard, doing two jobs, and raising kids. Yes, ma'am. It so says it people. all. Uh -huh. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.